Hey guys, this is Sahan. And this is Charlotte. And today we'll be reviewing Detective Conan movie 25, The Bride of Halloween trailer. And this time the review will be totally spoiler free. So uh, you guys can expect no spoilers from us and we also won't be disclosing anything from the latest chapters. So let's start with the release date because it's very close. Releasing on April 15th. Uh, in Japan, yeah, we are not going to get it anytime soon. Huh. Uh, I really wish that we would get uh, DC movie screenings by now in India because Jujutsu Kaisen is coming in India, right? Yeah, uh, so yeah. I think it's because of popularity issue. But as kids, we have been watching Detective Conan. Like all of us, almost all of us have been watching Detective Conan since. I don't know. So anyway, moving on to the name of the movie the bride of halloween so from the mm -hmm. name we understand there is going to be a bride and the season is going to be halloween so mm -hmm. in the first scene of the first trailer we see a bride and shockingly it's miwako sato and obviously the groom is uh, our wataru sakagi san what do you think like i don't think the relationship has progress to that level and so why would they stage a wedding all of a sudden? Yeah, I feel like uh, this is kind of uh, a tease because uh, this is something that we have had throughout the series, right? They come close, they come very close to get, even kissing and then somebody interrupts. Uh, not only with uh, this set of characters but with even uh, Ran and Shinichi and even the other characters. Like the tease is a lot more than what actually happens. So I think what, what, what I feel is maybe this is actually some kind of a dummy event to set kind up. of, uh, yeah, set up to kind of lure someone out or something. That is what my, my, my intuition is, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And the next scene, I think we see uh, Ray Furua and his colleague. And on the screen, we see that the serial bomber from three years ago escaped and... That was the news they were watching. Not really a spoiler, guys, but yeah. So he lost two of his friends. Ray Furia mm -hmm. lost two of his friends to that bomber, and he escaped. And there were explosions. So it's uh, right to assume that these are connected. So the movie is uh, based on the bombings from three years ago. Yep, and this time the bombs are like pretty interesting as we can see in the trailer that they are going around the neck of the person. Yeah, and so it is, it. Yeah, and it's some kind of a fluid bomb. Uh, I think uh, maybe one of the ways uh, Conan might solve it is by researching on what the fluid is, what the bomb itself is. Maybe that could be part of the solution because uh, we know he has Dr. Agasa, right? Mm -hmm. So he has a decent kind of a research team behind him. Uh, and yeah, definitely uh, related to bombing and specifically I think the target is Amuro this time. Yes, uh, that uh, is what I see. there was some sort of international organization related uh, to the bombing. So this uh, probably not the same as three years ago, but it is related since we see Matsuda Jinpei's photos and uh, flashbacks being shown and all the police academy buddies they are all shown together so these are related but it may be something new and different uh, because obviously uh, Ray Furue or Amuro Toru he has been involved with a lot of different cases over the years as both a black organization agent and a PSB agent so it may be something different but maybe you know related so, so I think that, uh, as you mentioned, right, it's an international organization, but I don't think that the black organization has anything to do with this. However, I feel that, uh, as we saw in the flashback, right, that um, those bombers from three years ago, they escaped. So it, it, it very well might be that they have been recruited by some other organization, because in most of these movies, uh, even in the last movie, like we saw, uh, which, was, which is happening in Singapore, I think we see a lot of new entities. A lot of new uh, players kind of come into the fold, and uh, that that it won't be a surprise if there is some kind of a minor international organization which kind of hired uh, those escapees and is now targeting Japan. 
Yeah, right? and the ray for air to be like exact. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we see another uh, Amuro and Conan team up. Uh, in recent years, Amuro san has been getting a lot of attention. We got a manga, Zero Ski Time, and the Wild uh -huh. Police sto story arc that is airing right now. In the recent past, like uh, the fan base has shifted from Akai san to Amuro san, and he is getting a lot more screen time. Uh, movie, uh, we see another team up. I think Amuro and Conan teaming up is like uh, quite common. Like even aside from the movies, like even in the episodes, we see them uh, teaming up usually. Like he is in the bakery underneath, and no matter what, if, if there is a case that Amuro uh, san is involved in or Conan is involved in, somehow Amuro is kind of always there. So uh, for me, that is not a shocker, mm -hmm. but. Um, yeah, yeah I, I agree with you on the fact that uh, Amuro has been getting a lot, lot more screen time than Akai. But I guess like uh, that is the charm of Akai, right? Because we see him less and he's uh, more we kind mysterious. Of, yeah, he's more mysterious and we kind of expect him uh, to do something extraordinary all the time. Uh, personally, I still prefer Akai over Amuro. So <laughs> I won't say that the whole fan base is shifting, mm -hmm. but yeah, uh, you are right, he's getting a lot more attention than before. Yeah, and I would also like to point out in the first trailer, there was a small scene where uh, there was uh, Kogoro-san. Kogoro-san mm. holding a head, The only the hair part was seen, but uh, from the size of the body and the hair color, I assume it was a hybrid eye. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were on the road and he was protecting her. So I'd also like to point that out that uh, Kogoro can uh, be irresponsible at all times but he is not a selfish person like in times of emergency he rises up and like I really admire him for that. So yeah, Kogoro is that funny comic character but who, who was an ex-detective, right? Uh, police detective I mean. Yeah. Now he is a personal more of a on higher detective. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, he has been like created more of a comic character. But sometimes we do see um, the serious side of him. But generally like uh, most of the important things have not been done by him so far in the series as well. <laughs> so uh, whatever he is holding on to, whether it is somebody's head or just a water, green watermelon, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't like overthink it uh, to be honest. Like, yeah, like you know Kogoro, Kogoro is always going to be there, a part of DC, we know that. But yeah, I'm not really taking him very seriously at this point. I'm more interested in uh, what Amuro is going to do and how uh, those bombs are going to be diffused really. I was also hoping to see some more familiar characters, especially from the black organization, since we are so close to them right now in the mm -hmm. series. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think we'll see any. We have too much already going on in this movie itself, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Something with bombers from the past, Amuro and all. So I, I doubt that we'd get to see the black organization, but yeah, maybe the next movie, but yeah, uh, no black organization for me in this year. Let's return back to the first scene where we see all of the characters together, like for the wedding of Takagi and Sato-san. Even if it's a setup, there were civilians out there, like there was Ren and Sonoko. So, I don't know, like even if it's going to movie the scene, like how it is it is going to play out like I am hoping to see that soon. Because yeah, it is, it is curious. Like I am also curious like how, like what is the excuse they are going to use to do a setup like this, right? Because the marriage is not really a minor, minor thing. It's a pretty serious thing to convince everyone that two people are getting married. And these are two people who are significant characters. These are, these are not just random characters. So what I'm trying to say is that, say if we wanted to set up some sort of a wedding, we could have set it up with some new unknown characters, right? Right. Why set it up with Takagi, uh, who is one of the uh, one of the main characters? Maybe secondary, but still uh, an everyday character in DC. So yeah, it is it is quite curious. Yeah. Yeah. So one one thing that I really liked in this uh, trailer, in the second trailer specifically, is that the bomber was wearing some sort of a a mask from the Black Plague times in Europe, right? So kind of a like crow mask, which is really uh, exciting for me because 
generally in in dc we only see like a shadow right we don't really see the bomber but this time like there was a like a proper design for the bomber and we got to see him already not the face but with the uh, mask and that crow mask is uh, like one of my favorite masks i think so i really liked that <laughs> but yeah let i think let's uh, segue into the ratings what do you think like uh, how how much hype is this according to you for me the trailer was really good because like you said a lot of things were happening in the movie a lot of characters interacting a lot of new things and the bombing which like uh, mm-hmm. was uh, similar to 3 years back uh, that yeah. bombing so it is uh, like somehow even even if it's little but it's connected to the main series to that is a plus point for me mm-hmm. so i'll give it a Four point six out of five. That's What about a you? Pretty, pretty high rating. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of, oh, I'm a bit low on this. Uh, I would say something around three point eight maybe. Wow. Uh, yeah. Because uh, I feel like this is this movie is not going to give us something new, and that is the reason I'm going a bit low. Well, most so, movies are non-canon, so they don't yeah. exactly add anything to the series. Yeah, mo- most movies are non-canon, but they kind of give us something uh, like very original all the other times. Where, whereas I feel like this time we are not getting that. Yeah, like Amuro uh, and Conan uh, team. Yeah, yeah. Same that same. is something we see. Yeah, that is something we see in the mo- in normally in the movies in the in the show as well, right? Uh, yeah. For example, if you take other movies like uh, Zero the en- Enforcer or mm-hmm. Crimson Love Letter mm-hmm. or Sunflowers of Inferno. Like everything was kind of very uh, like new according to me. Like it was different kind new, of interactions. Like uh, it's not like an everyday DC episode. Whereas I feel like this is going similar to an everyday DC episode. Okay, I see where you're going. But yeah, yeah, you're right. I gave it a high rating because of that connection to the past. Uh, that bombing case was uh, really like the high time of uh, Detective Conan. Like, It was mm-hmm. around, mm-hmm. Uh, I think, three uh, hundreds episode, like the early three hundreds. So mm-hmm. very nostalgic for me, and yes, so that's why I really like the concept of this movie, the uh, bombing case. Uh, so I'm <coughs> hoping that it will be a good one. But yes, uh, for the um, team up, uh, it's not much. We have seen this dynamic before. Mm-hmm. So moving on to so this is our first video on DC. Let's also discuss which is our favorite movie uh, this far. So uh, for me, uh, my favorite movie is The Darkest Nightmare. Um, oh, with Kurosawa, right? Yeah, with Kurosawa. Oh. So a uh, lot of black organization thing going on here. uh very very easily like you give me black organization like <laughs> i am down getting to know a character from the black organization it always keeps you on the edge like you feel like something more is going to happen and not just uh, the black not just one character of the black organization we we got uh, rum here we got jin we got vermouth as well so this was like really really uh, special for me yeah okay yes i understand my hi For me, it was uh, good. Since there were so many black organization characters, I expected much more from this. But uh, Kurosawa really stole the spotlight, and the story mm-hmm. didn't add up too much for me. So, mm-hmm. but it is a uh, high up there. But my favorite movie would be uh, Dimensional Sniper, and mm-hmm. <laughs> I know you can guess. it's because of akaisa even in the last movie mm-hmm. movie 24 he played a role he sniped yep. and all but it wasn't as cool as the sniping in dimensional sniper the name of the movie itself is dimensional sniper so it it was amazing how he shot the bell tree tower how he shot mm-hmm. at this from so far away and uh, even ran showed her Skills. Mm-hmm. And another part I liked the most was uh, Sarah and Conan on her mm-hmm. bike. That uh, duo dynamic was also kind of new, and mm-hmm. I really liked it. 
and the whole movie was about sniping and all. The movie stopped for me because of Akaisen. And these are all the other points that I'm pointing out which I like. But yeah, Akaisen is the highlight of the movie. Mm -hmm. I bet. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, the no doubt a great movie. Um, I, I liked it as well. The Dimension Sniper is something that even I enjoyed watching. Uh, there is no denying that. Yeah. So English subs come out really late, but I was hoping to watch it uh, the new movie, movie twenty five really soon. But it gets sub pretty late. Detective Conan movies. I don't know why. Yep, yep, it's very hard to get down quickly. Anyway. And overall, I feel like the quality of movies has kind of decreased. Like if you look at the early uh, 2000s, the 1997, 1998, those movies are kind of rated really, really good. Like one of my favorite movies is also The Phantom of the Exactly, that was my first movie too and mm -hmm. it was really good. Even mm -hmm. talking about movies, even the series, uh, the quality of animation and the details they put into, even if the animation, I mean, the quality of animation has uh, gone like way good, but uh, the details they used to put into animation, into the classic style was really good. It makes me want to rewatch the whole series again just mm -hmm. to see the old style and there was a lot more like expressions and which convey used to convey more emotions uh, so it was really good uh, that's why i kind of shifted to reading manga more yep it's yep uh, even i am a manga reader more than the episodes but the episodes have a fun of their own right because we start, we all started with the episodes i think right when we were the kids uh, so yeah, uh, the episodes have a special place of their own. Yeah, but I hope about, they work a little bit more on the quality. The story of the movies, I hope they work on those too. Like, I understand that uh, releasing a new movie every year is tough and coming up with uh, stories, especially since it's a mystery, thriller kind of mm -hmm. uh, genre, it's uh, even harder. But I hope mm -hmm. they come up with better plot in the future. Definitely. So, with that guys, I think that is the end of this video. We to do a lot more Detective Conan content and we'll continue with the uh, One Piece chapter reviews and we'll soon come up with uh, Detective Conan reviews too. And uh, that's all for today. I hope you like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive notification for our upcoming videos. Peace out. Peace out guys.